Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of Resident Evil 7 in part 2. Now, this is going to be sort of a way to experience Resident Evil 7, refresh our memories on it, before Resident Evil 8 Village comes out in a few months' time, which we will also be covering on the channel. So, yeah, sit back, relax, and let's enjoy some more Resident Evil 7. If you've missed part 1, you need to catch up on the story there, because obviously the story is important in this game. I'm not going to explain it all here. But with that said, we've been tasked by a woman called Zoe with actually finding a way out of this house. We need to find three heads. As you can see here, look, there's three heads on this door. And we've got to find these three dog heads in order to open the door and to get out into the yard. We need to head for that trailer over there. So, we've got Jack Baker on the prowl hunting us through the house. And we've got to figure out how to get those heads. So, let's get started by exploring, I think, upstairs first. We've also got a shotgun here, but I think if I take this shotgun, we're going to get locked in. I remember, you can see there's a door here. If we take this gun now, we'll get locked in. So there's no way to take that shotgun yet. We actually need to replace it with a broken shotgun, which we should be able to locate elsewhere in the house. Oh man, and look, we've got like the old woman here again, the old grandma. She's just placed around the house all the time. It's super creepy. Hmm, got a sort of old football helmet here. Maybe it's daddy's, he says. Hmm, maybe. We've got something with a snake on it here. We need a snake key for that door. What about in here? Ooh, this looks... <gasps> There's a, a tape. Look, a tape labelled Mia. So... Let's put the videotape in the VCR and see what this is all about. The cool thing about this game is that we get to actually play through these home movies. Now this one is called Mia and it says, Ethan, please watch this. Obviously our character is called Ethan. We are married to Mia and we went to save her from this house, but she turned on us when we arrived. Ethan, if you find this, I know I can't expect anything from you. Not after what happened. After what I did. But I just want you to know that wasn't me. I don't I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are! You gave us quite a scare, young lady. Quick Mia. So Marguerite, the mother of the family, is after us now, guys. And look at all these creepy dolls just, like, hung up there. Is she coming for us right now? Yeah, she's approaching. Okay, we gotta go. Let's get inside this house. We gotta hide somewhere. Oh. Did that door just lock it of its own accord? I think it did. So we can't go through there. We're in this old house right now. It's literally called... The what the hell? we got a creepy girl. What's her story? Okay. I'm going to get out of here. I've also just turned on subtitles, guys, because I realized I hadn't got the subtitles. Wow. Okay. Um, the light just went off. Yeah, I realized I hadn't put subtitles on in the last video, so now you should be able to see the subtitles if you can't hear the audio quite well enough. Um, we've got to keep low here because Marguerite's going to be stalking us through the house. I am sick and tired of being sick Oh, there she comes. There she comes. I need to hide. I need to hide. Why are you putting me through this? Okay, let's just lay low. What have I done to deserve this except open my home? Oh, she's right there. Oh my god. No. No, nobody's here. Nobody's here. I don't understand you. Okay, good. At all this is a gift. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Man, that was close. I thought she was gonna double back and see us then. Right, okay. We've got a projector here. She's coming. Okay, let's hide. Um Round here, maybe? Or is it that you just don't What is this? Broken flamethrower. Okay, we'll leave that there. 
Oh my god, she's right there, guys. I'm gonna hide. I'm just gonna hide in this corner and hope that she doesn't come this way. I know you and Zoe are plotting. I know you were scheming. We're not plotting and scheming. I don't know what you want to do with that boy, Ethan. Leave Ethan out of this. Okay. She doesn't approve of us seeing Ethan. <laughs> gonna go? Like, where's she at? I think she's going. I hope she is at least. Wait, is she coming back? No, 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 don't come over here. Oh my goodness, she's coming this way. Guys, this isn't good. This is not good at all. She's right there. Can we sneak past her? She's right there. I'm just gonna move, I'm just gonna stay in the corner here. Hopefully she'll go, right? Don't come this way, please. Please don't come this way. I can't move back any further. Look, we're like right in the corner here. She's going. I'll feed you to my babies and fertilize the garden with what was left. Lovely. Lovely imagery you paint there, Marguerite. You're a true... Uh, you truly have a way with words. Ah. Look at her stomping off. She doesn't know where we are. We open our home. We open our hearts. And what do you do? Look. I don't want to be part of your crazy family, all right? Leave us out of this. Okay, time to solve a puzzle. We've got to rotate the shadow of this thing so it makes it like a spider shape, as you can see there, guys. Like, I think that's pretty much it. We just need it to be the other way around. There we go. And now... Is that good? Yeah, there we go. Puzzle solved. I love puzzles like that. I think they're really interesting and cool. You know, like light puzzles and shadow puzzles. I always appreciate it when games like include them because they must be quite tricky to program. Anyway, we've got to go through this like really narrow space in the wall here. I hope you guys can see this okay. It's very like dark. Maybe I should turn the brightness up on this game a little bit. I don't know. I guess I can always brighten it in the edit a little bit, but it does look kind of dark. Right, no sign of Marguerite. She loves you. Oh, she's coming. She wants us to be a family, God damn Get down, it. get down, get down. You, you. Wait, has she All seen you us? All have to do is accept her fucking gift. Has she seen us? I feel like she shouldn't have seen us there. Which way is she going? Make up your mind, left or right. Come on. I don't know. I don't think she has seen us. No, she's coming left. Okay, I'm gonna go right then. We love you. Why can't you see that? Ugh. I don't think you do love us. Embrace us. No way. There are known unknowns here, and you are not paying fucking attention. I'm getting out of here. Screw this. No, 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 no! You don't fucking try to escape your share of the blame. There's no way out of there, Missy! I think she knows we're down here, though. This is not good. We're in the cavity of the house again. Ooh! Ah! We've got an item. Wait, is she trapping us? I think she's trapped us down here. Let's go back. It's dark this way, but I can't see anything. Oh my god. There's no way out. Guys, I can't get back this way. She's sealed us in. We're like trapped. I guess we have to just collect a crank handle, maybe. We can't. Um. Oh, what's this? A little girl. And is that meant to be Mia with her? Oh no. The light's gone out. Oh my god. Where do you think you're going? That was horrible. I don't even remember that happening. <laughs> 
her face just in full screen suddenly. So Mia's been taken again and captured now. Well, I think this is meant to have happened before like we freed her from a prison, isn't it? This is like an old videotape. What did they do to you, Mia? Right, well, there we go, guys. The story of Mia continues. Um, we've got a book over here. What's this? Can we open it? Nice! Blue dog's head. So one of the three heads we've now collected. Progress has been made. We've got a note here. It says October 2nd. Reports say a storm's coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the last one a few years back. I guess it's time to reinforce the windows and shore up the roof. Maybe I'll get Lucas to help. Then October 9th. The water has finally receded. The house is alright, but the old house was badly damaged. So that's why the old house that we just like went through as Mia was in such disarray. Lucas is making a fuss about a huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. If that's true, I better report it to the parish. I'll go check it out tomorrow. Okay, so a big ship washed ashore, and that old house that we just explored as Mia, that's why it got all destroyed like that. Nothing in the trash. We need a skeleton key to get inside this door, and there's the shotgun that we need to replace for one in the hall. That's like the broken shotgun. So, we don't have a skeleton key yet, we're going to have to explore and find that. Alright, I'm going back into that house, guys, to see what else we can see. There's a door here. I'm really scared that Jack's going to come back at some point. Well, I know he's going to come back at some point. Oh, look, we've got a bathtub here as well. Let's check the drawer here. Handgun ammo, nice. Right. Anything in the bath? Yeah, we've unplugged it. That does not look like clean water. A wooden statue, nice. I'll take that. I don't know what it's for yet, but still. It's a disgusting mess of God knows what. We can say that again, Ethan. I feel like I need a little shower after that, you know, but I doubt it works. They don't seem like a, the cleanest of families do. Oh my God, what the hell? I had a feeling you'd be back, Jack. You've seen better days, my, my friend. Little girl has given us a gift. And this gift is with me always. See you later. Um As you can see, the family is only part of I'm the dropping pit. down. What the heck? Did you drop down as well? Yes he did. Lovely, very poetic. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Um, right, we need to get out of here, guys. We need to lose Jack somehow. Have we escaped him? Or is he going to be following us still? Man, that was pretty crazy. Jack is back. Can we quickly get this puzzle done and then get out of here? Sky Hunter, we need to make it into a hawk. Um, okay. Wait, is that like that, maybe? Ooh, that looks promising. That looks kind of right. Yes. <laughs> we just need to, like, do the puzzle, like, super fast and get through this doorway and try and escape before Jack comes back. Because he is on the prowl now, and he is not a happy boy. Who builds this shit? True, yeah, he does build it. Nice, look, a secret entrance, guys. I think this episode's been off to a bang, you know, we've already met Jack, he's come back to hunt us. We've been through the old house's Mia on the videotape, done a little bit of stealth. Done a few puzzles too, it's been a pretty awesome episode and that is creepy. Kind of nice as well. It's creepy but nice. I really love deer, deer is one of my favourite animals. I love to feed them, like I fed deer a few times. They're really like peaceful, beautiful animals. But look, we've got a crow door here. So we need to find a key to the crow door. Fridge? Anything in the fridge? Like a beer, maybe, to calm our nerves? Nice cold one. Don't think so. Might as well close that then. Handgun ammo. Nice. Always worthwhile. Toilet is not going to be much help right now. Probably already soiled our pants. 
Okay, so we need something to open this. Can we use the lockpick? Yes, we can. Nice. We've got shotgun shells. No shotgun to use them, but still. Looks like a kid drew it. Yep. Or maybe Jack's just a really bad drawer. <laughs> We've got a note here. Let's read it. So June 14th, vacationing husband and wife. The husband was a success. He was the 12th. Unfortunately, the wife was no good. So we'll just get rid of her. July 7th, three college girls. They're all rotten. Lucas is a damn idiot. August 13th, homeless man. Turned in three days. He's the 13th. Oh, and we've got a picture of like some creature on the back. So they're obviously turning these people into creatures. These people that like, they like hijack and they wanted to do the same to Ethan, I'm guessing. But we escaped, or at least we have for now. There's a little thing over here as well. A little box, oh, full of maggots though. Kind of not what I expected to see when I opened it. You know, I was hoping for some ammo or something, maybe a, a medipack. Nope, we got maggots. All right, let's head through this door then. And more of that black stuff everywhere. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh my god. Okay, okay. We've got our first enemy. Bail. That's not good. Wow, they're actually strong. They're actually strong, guys. No! Get off me! Get off me! Attack! We got rid of it. It savaged us quite badly, but we got rid of it. Wow. Okay. L1 to guard. Well, it's a bit late to tell us that now. Man, that thing is horrible. So I guess this is what these people have been turned into. These horrible, like, goopy messes. That actually took me by surprise. For some reason, I thought those things showed up a bit later in the game. I don't remember them showing up this early on. It just like emerged from a wall. It's horrible. That's a creepy picture. Why have they got that in their house? We've got a skeleton door. Uh, sorry, a skeleton. A uh, scorpion door there. What's down here? Ooh, a save room. Nice. Scrap of paper. Dear Courtney, those bastards are looking for me, but maybe this gives you a chance to escape. To escape, you'll have to find the reliefs shaped like dog heads. I saw one of the heads in the dissection room underground. Get it, it's the key out of here. Okay, so the second head we need is in the dissection room. I guess that's where we're heading next. Okay, so our health is on like, caution at the moment. We need to be careful. Some more handgun ammo. Need all of the handgun ammo we can get right now. I think what we'll do is head downstairs. Looks pretty creepy down here. But we've got to go into the basement of the house. The lower floor. And try and find that next head. It's our key out of this house. This place is overrun with this mold. I think that's what it's actually called as well, like mold. And of course those creatures can emerge from this stuff. There's one. There is one. Okay, let's be careful then. We need to go for the headshots. Are you kidding me? No, he got us guys. I actually blocked then as well, but I guess our health was just too low. Molded. These creatures are hard to kill. To stop them, you'll have to either take off their heads or completely tear their bodies apart. Great. Alright guys, well let's go back down and see if we can tear this body apart, or at least take his head. There we go, we took the head off that time. Nice. We've also got some way to go this way. But it's locked from the other side. Oh my god, there's one right in here. Just open the door and see him like coming through. Man, these guys are hard. 
They actually guard their heads. They're quite clever. But there you go, as you can see. If you're accurate, they're not as hard. So now, hopefully, we're all good. What are these? We've got some different lockers here. So we've got Travis, Lara. That one's just got a handprint on it. William, Sean, and this one has nothing written on it. Got a body there. What's this? Gunpowder. Combine items with gunpowder. Ah, nice. I think we have to combine it with, like, chem fluid. Yeah, if we combine um, gunpowder and chem fluid, we get handgun ammo. So let's try doing that. Nice, okay. I've got a note over here, let's check that out. Lucas, I caught the guy who's trying to escape. I've locked him in the leftmost incinerator so he can't get away. Take him out when he's ready. You know how to open the door, don't you? Just remember, three A's and a handprint. Do what you want with this girl. Three A's and a handprint. So this is like a clue how to solve the puzzle. Basically, the person locked in here is the one we need to uh, get to, I believe, because they've probably got like a key item on them. So in order to do it, we need to press three A's and a handprint. Lara's gotta be one, right? And then the other one has gotta be either William or Sean because then we've used names which combine three A's. I'm gonna go like Sean. I hope I've got this right. And a handprint. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. Because this one's called Craig, I've just noticed on the bottom. Ah, oh, Tamara. So, okay. So, yeah, it's... It's Tamara. And the handprint. And this one's going to open now. Nice. Now, I'm going to get my gun up ready in case something comes out of this that might want to hurt me. Yep, like that, like that, like that. Okay, um, it's all good. This one looks tougher, it looks like he's got like a massive arm or something. Fail. Reload. No! Man, she's not good. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is going really badly. This is going really, really badly. I think he's down. I think he's dead. Yep. I don't have any healing items though. That was nuts. I went to block and he just caught us from the side with a swipe. Oh. Dissection room key. Okay, we've got the key to get into the dissection room now. But we're also, like, really badly injured. And I have no healing items. Okay, so before we actually go any further down there, I'm actually going to head back, guys, and try and find a way to get that shotgun. Because I feel like we really need the shotgun for making progress downstairs. It's really hard to kill those things with just a pistol. So I'm basically going to go back into the house and see if we can hunt through the rooms we haven't yet explored to hopefully find a way to get access to that shotgun. The only problem going back this way is going to mean encountering Jack again and we've got very low health. So I'm also going to be hunting for some health packs and basically stuff that might be able to uh, help us progress. Oh, clock pendulum. Guys, do you remember in episode one we had the clock? Which, wait, Jack's back. He's upstairs. Alright, I'm going, I'm running. Basically, there's a clock pendulum in this room over here, if you guys remember. And it needed, it needed a pendulum putting in the clock, is what I'm trying to say. When I get paranoid about, like, enemies after me, I always speak a load of nonsense. But basically, we need to put the pendulum in this clock. And this might actually give us... Yes, look. The, the second head. So we've already got two heads. We only need to get one more head, which is for one in the dissection room downstairs. Problem is, I would kind of like 
to go down there with a shotgun, you know? Let's check this door. Let's check this cupboard. Gunpowder? Wait, I hear him. Oh, he's there. He's coming for us. He's, he's quite fast. He is pretty fast, you know? I'm just gonna run. I don't think we can go that way. Go this way, go this way, quick. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not today. Herb, that's what we need. We can heal now. I'm going outside, guys. Chem fluid, nice. We can take that. Quickly. Oh, we can't use that. We need to get inside that box somehow. Wait, where is he? He said, here I come, but I don't know where he's gone. Guys, I'm going to quickly combine the chem fluid with the herb. And then use this. There we go. We should be healed up now. Do we have a lockpick? No. We have two dog's heads, though. I think I'm going to put those downstairs to start with anyway. Also, I'll just check over here in case there's anything in this drawer. Oh, there's a photo of the little girl we saw. Evelyn, May 2nd, 2014. I'm going to put the two heads into here. Just get them out of our inventory. We need one more still, and that's downstairs. Now, I can't actually find the key that we need to get to that shotgun, so I'm going to have to explore downstairs a bit more, guys. It probably is that it's in the basement area somewhere, but because I haven't got a lot of health or resources, I didn't want to fight more of those things. But I have a feeling we're going to have to explore in order to get the key. This is really not going to work, is it? This is really not happening for us. I'm going to push on, but I fully expect us to die now. That's locked. Um, can we go this way through the shutter? Oh, yeah, we can actually. Nice. Can I actually open that up? It might be some supplies in this room, actually, with all these boxes knocking about. Yes, handgun ammo. Well, let's use that straight away. Processing area map. So we've actually got a map of the area now. So let's have a look at that. Right. Dissection room. You can see the dissection room. That's where we need to go, guys. Um, we've been in the morgue, I think, already. Oh, nice first aid. I'll take that. What is this? <gasps> scorpion key. Nice. We needed the scorpion key. I think that actually might allow us to get the shotgun now. We've also got a lockpick. Right, so we didn't have to come back for long. We can probably head back upstairs now. And we've also got chem fluid. Nice. It was worth a trip to this room. Go. Run. Run. I'm not even going to kill that thing right now. I'm just going to head away because sometimes it's a better idea just to run. So what we're going to do, guys, is head back upstairs and see if we can find that uh, scorpion door key. Oh, look. There's actually a door here with the scorpion on it. So let's use our scorpion key here to start with. I feel like this is a shortcut. Yes, look, we're back in the main house. We'd have to go through the wall cavity every time now. Right, I need to go outside to the balcony first, guys, because I want to use the lockpick on this box to clear up some inventory space. So let's use a lockpick there. Open the box. Shotgun shells, totally worth. Look, that's where we need to go as well. You can see the little trailer down there. That's where we need to head out to. And this is the room, yes, with a scorpion key. This is where we need to go. Now, let's hope he doesn't come in while we're unlocking this door. Nice. Broken shotgun, excellent. 
I'm tired of chasing all these shitheads around the yard. The next time one of our guests runs away, hide the dog head relief so they can't get out of the house. Let's hide them like this. Living room grandfather clock, the book in the re recreation room, the dissection room in the basement. I wish I'd known about that before. <laughs> I didn't know about that when we found them before. Hands good ammo. Chem fluid, nice. Anything in this drawer? Ooh. What the heck? He's nearby. We gotta hide, guys. We gotta hide. <gasps> Shotgun shells as well. Nice. Where are you? He's so close. I don't like this at all. We've got a note here as well. Dear Mrs. Baker, how have you been feeling recently? It's been a long time since you came in for your last checkup. I'm writing to tell you that I finished examining your x-rays. Those dark areas in your cranium are fungus-like structures that seem to be related to mold. The hallucinations and noises you've been hearing may be related to these growths. If your symptoms are due to a fungal parasite, it must be removed before it's too late. Now I don't mean to scare you, but I am seriously concerned for your health. Please come to the hospital as soon as you read this letter. As your doctor, I strongly recommend you undergo further tests. That's from Crawford Lang, the Dolvey General Hospital practitioner there. Now obviously she's infected with something as we've seen because it's progressed to the point of no return. Um, she's now full blown crazy and a full blown monster, but it's a shame they couldn't do something before, you know, it came to this, right? Ethan. Ethan. Oh man, he is whispering Ethan. to us sweet nothings in our ear. I'm dropping down here, guys. <sighs> you don't find you, right? Man, he's really close. He is really, really close right now. All we need to do is sneak into the hallway area again and over to the shotgun. Finally, we've reached it. Okay, take that. Nice new shotgun. Powerful, beastly thing. But of course, now the, sh the door has shut. We're, we're trapped in here, which is what I was worried about. So what we're going to have to do is place the broken shotgun in there. And now, hey presto, we can get back out and progress. So now, guys, we actually can head downstairs and go to that dissection room and get the last head. And then once we've actually got out of this house, that's where we're going to call it for today's episode. Okay, now, obviously we're going to be running into that thing that we left down here, that molded. We're going to be actually running into that because we left him alive. So I've got the shotgun to the ready. We're going to try out this bad boy and we're going to see just how powerful the shotgun actually is. Where are you, molded? You in this room still? Yeah, there you go. You were hiding, waiting for me, weren't you? Boom. Wow, that really works. That is totally worthwhile. Unlocked. Nice. We've got a shortcut now. Back to the start of the area. Now let's go this way and see if there's anything here. There's a little downstairs area. Oh, there's a snake door and something here. Psychostimulants. Okay, I'll take those. Use psychostimulants to find items. Shotgun shells as well. That could actually be really useful because we are running low on like handgun ammo and stuff. So maybe we'll use some of the psychostimulants psycho to find some ammo down here. Don't really like that racket, you know, all that noise that's being made. Let's have a look, actually, if we can use some psychostimulants. Right, can we see any items? Oh, yeah, look, it shows us. Shows us where items are. Handgun ammo. Nice. We'll take those. Chem fluid. Oh, no. Another one of these guys. Well, now we've got the shotgun. They're suddenly far easier, aren't they? <laughs> I was once scared of these guys, not anymore. I don't want to use all the shotgun shells up on these guys, but still, you know. They're sitting through there as well. Oh no. 
That one kind of took me by surprise, though. There's loads of these things down here, man. At least we've got lots of shotgun shells. I mean, we, it, the game's been quite generous with uh, how many shotgun shells it gives us. I can actually hear another. Where is that? Oh, he's there. Okay. Strong chem fluid. Man, there's so many of them. Let's mix our chem fluid that we have there to give us another health item. And we'll pick up this strong chem fluid because this might actually make us shotgun shells or something. Is that locked? Is this the dissection room door? Yep, and we've unlocked it. Excellent. So, we can now move into the dissection room. Oh, nice. Red dog's head. What the heck? I was going to be your father. Now she says he will be her father. No, 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 no. I will find him. And I will make him suffer. Hey, you, my friend, will help me. Look at that cop just pinned up. It wasn't enough that he lost his head. He's now been like stapled to the wall. Poor police officer. More shotgun shells. Okay. I feel like we're going to be throwing down against Jack very shortly again. So I want to make sure we've got all those shotgun shells at, at our disposal, you know, at the ready. Oh, look, more shotgun shells. Definitely a boss fight to top off the episode. Through the doors then. This isn't filling me with confidence. There's dead bodies hanging in a red room there. Can we go inside here? Chem fluid. I'll take that. Oh. Poor deputy. Yeah, poor deputy. He was only trying to help, wasn't he? He was one of the good cops. Anything down here? Gunpowder, yes, but we don't have enough space. Well, that's fine, because what we can do is actually mix first aid spray with the chem fluid there. And then hopefully if we pick up the gunpowder, we mix the strong chem fluid with the gunpowder. Oh, and it gives us enhanced handgun ammo. An ammo packed with extra gunpowder, making it more powerful. Change ammo with L2 and triangle. Ooh, very nice. Well, I think I'll stick with the shotgun for now. We've got a snake door here, so we won't be able to go through that. But there's the final dog head. This is what we need. Nice. Oh, here's Jack. <laughs> he just kicks us off the top. Savage. And look at the size of the axe he's got. Can you even call that an axe? I'm going to kick this at you. Boom. There you go. How do you like that, Jack? How do you like them apples? He's still coming. Get out, get out, get out. Move. Chainsaw. We need the chainsaw. Keep moving. Yeah, with you dead and me alive and escaped. That's how it ends, Jack. No. Ooh, okay. That hurts. Nice. Boom. We have to attack his weak spot. Oh no, he's going for the chainsaw. He is going for the chainsaw, guys. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to get the shotgun shells. That's not groovy. Oh no, that isn't even a chainsaw. What the heck is that? It's like a scissor chainsaw. We need to get the chainsaw ourselves. Backup chainsaw. Oh. Here, have this. And have this, and have this, and this. We need to block, we need to block, we need to block. Have some of that. Now, uh, have that, have that. Okay, I need to use some healing items here, guys. 
The battle of the chainsaws is on. <laughs> oh my god. That's nuts. We literally just clash chainsaws. Come on. Oh my god, through his head. So sick. What the hell? That's gonna hurt. Now. Oh, L2 and RT to thrust. Nice. Thrust him. Thrust him again. Oh no. It's out of it's out of power. We need to turn on the engine. Right. Here we go. I've got the hang of this now. Okay, thrust. There we go. Nice. And again. Yes. Now for us. Yep, yep, yep. Oh no. Start it up again. He's angry now. He's angry now, guys. He's angry now. I can't believe our shotgun, our chainsaw just ran out of power at the last second when we really needed it, you know, when we were just about to do a major attack on him. And it ran out of power. Yeah. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. Go in. Okay. Boom. And go. No. Yes. Now go hard. Yes. We got him. We got him. That is nuts. Poor Jack. Oh my god, he exploded. What the hell? He's getting up. His legs are getting up. You done? Do you want some more? There. Do me a favor and stay dead. Man, that was quite the battle. That was actually awesome though. Like we'd clash of the chainsaws, Jack versus Ethan. How cool was that? I love Resident Evil 7 so much. Literally one of my favorite Resident Evils for a good reason. So can we chainsaw through this? Yeah, there we go. And there we are. Through the door, but we broke our chainsaw. Eh, we don't need it anymore anyway. <sighs> Let's just take a second to look at the carnage in this room after that battle. And that's all that remains of Jack, so hopefully he won't be coming back again. <sighs> right, let's go. We've got our head. We've got the dog head. Don't know if it was worth all of that, but we can finally get out of this house, wrap up the episode, hopefully get another conversation with Zoe going and see where the story goes next. What's that noise? Oh my god, it's the old woman as I come back up the stairs, guys. I'm greeted to, with this sight. I wasn't planning to show you any more of my journey back to the front door, but I feel like this is worth cutting back in, because <laughs> that's pretty creepy. I just hear her going like, da, 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 and then I come up and she's just hanging out here. How's it going? What's your story, by the way? Hmm. Right guys, here we are in the front room. We can use the final dog head and hopefully the door is unlocked. Let's heal up as well. Nice. We're outside. There we go, get a good look at the house. That's the whole house that we've been exploring. We've got obviously the old house over there. Another house sort of here, like an outhouse. And then this trailer, which I think is where we want to go next. Got a phone. And we've got all these things that we can actually unlock with coins here, guys. You can see this says steroids increases maximum health indefinitely. And we actually had some coins, so I'm going to actually get the coins out of here, the antique coins. 
and we can see if we can unlock some of these. Stabilizer. This stabilizes our shooting. I'm going to increase our maximum health, I think. That's like a priority for me. So let's drop that in there. There we go. Now we can increase our maximum health. Let's use that. Nice. We're a little bit stronger now. I don't know if it's good to be shooting up these drugs like that, but, you know, needs must, as we always say. We've got a note here which says, My body's feeling weirder and weirder, and soon I'll become like mum and dad. It's all her fault. Should I run? No, I can't. I'm dead if she finds out. That woman she was with, Mia, she knows something. If I had the serum, I could cure myself. I have to find out more. So these are probably from Zoe, I'm thinking. Oh look, we've got another antique coin here. We might as well take that. She's got an interesting uh, sense of decorating, you know? Oh, but we have got a phone call. You made it. You're the first I've ever seen make it this far. So what is it you need me to do? Is it going to help me get out of here? Yes. Now listen carefully, Ethan. My family and I, our bodies are contaminated. I can't leave the property unless I get it out. And the same goes for Mia. Is there a way to get it out? We need the serum. It should clear whatever this stuff is out of the body. As long as you're not too far gone. <sighs> All right. So where is it? If I knew where one was, I'd already be long gone. But I have a feeling my mother has hidden some inside the old house somewhere. So if we get this thing, I can help me and we can get out of here? Right. And so can I. The old house is near the water. You can't miss it. All right. I just hope you can handle my mother. Your mother? Be careful. They'll be looking for you. Right, guys. Well, that's a perfect point to end the episode then. So we've got to find the serum to cure both Mia and Zoe, then we can help them escape. First, we have to go to the old house, which, of course, we saw at the start of this episode. It was the place that Mia got sort of seized by Marguerite. We have to go there to get the serum. But obviously, Marguerite, the mother of the household, is going to be there. Jack Baker's wife, and she's going to be stalking us in the old house. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode, guys. We're going to be going to the old house to get the serum, facing off against the Marguerite, and seeing where the story of Resident Evil 7 goes next. Now, I hope you have been enjoying my playthrough of this game. And if you have, please remember to leave a like down below, leave a comment as well, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.